This autumn Sunday is given to rest and be kind to each other. The day is cool and dismal, the town totally hushed. It's our first taste of fall. The rush of summer spent. Days are becoming shorter and leaves starting to turn. No one moves outdoors, guiding roaring mowers. The children, too, are quiet. They've all stayed indoors. My sweetheart is nursing a cold, reading in her rocker, or gliding room to room, softly reminiscing while turning the covers of books. She spies a kettle of vultures drifting slowly southwards under a blanket of clouds, barely warmed at all by slanting sun above. After shivering all morning, at noon I turn on the heat. The vultures are flapping to rise now. There's barely enough lift to soar. At dusk we stroll the neighborhood in a soft, drizzly rain. Though feeling the chill, through feet, though feeling the chill, we are blessed, for the harvest has been bountiful. This autumn Sunday is given us to know summer will come again. It's a little tiny thing I wrote. Uh, we had an eclipse not long ago, and I was very fortunate to be able to be outside watching it uh, for several hours. Eclipse. And this is a grab bag, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when Earth's looming bulk without a sound, darkens moon's shining disk. Only a flaming ring she sees. Our sunrises, our sets, sunsets. And silently, in appreciation, she blushes. This is called the perfect cup of tea. Mm -hmm. and I was born in England. <laughs> so tea is my thing. <laughs> Who can explain the phases of the moon or this morning's perfect cup of tea? The ingredients were just the same as any other day. Boiling water, black tea, honey, goat's milk. And yet, this morning the flavor was superb. It was the cup of tea divine, the cup just right. This morning's cup of breakfast tea, I look forward to each night. But then all remembered things in life are a bit this way, aren't they? The cookie that did not taste so good one day, at another time, is beyond compare. On a sunny day in spring, when birds are everywhere, and the temperature just right, the whole world comes alive with me. That movie I cannot quite recall was unforgettably poignant at the time. <laughs> A moment of orgasm went on forever as the entire world came crashing to climax and the prayer, oh my God, roared from my throat. It is our lot, I guess, to be reborn each day and from time to time be shaken to our roots. Perhaps creation's plan to keep us in the game. Were there no prayers, no gods, in such a random universe as ours, would there be remembered things at all? Would there be the perfect sunset? Would there be the perfect Sunday nap? And would there ever be the perfect cup of breakfast tea? Mm -hmm. <laughs>